All right, guys, so this is an update video on my CS20 issue, electrical issue I was having. Uh, as you know, I was having uh, problems that it would shut down on me while riding completely. No power, nothing. It would shut down on me even though the battery was full. Uh, like a mile, two miles out, it would just turn off and I was not able to turn it back on. And I I took it apart, everything apart to, to see what I was able to find and all my testings and, and you know, that I did and this thing here turns out it was the battery, okay? <laughs> yeah, it was the battery. Um, something simple, but if you don't know anything about this battery, you would be like me that I was, you're going to end up buying a new battery like I did. Uh, you're going to end up buying a new motor like I did, thinking that was the problem. I mean, it was the battery problem, but it was because the batteries, after many charge cycles, um, these charge cycles, they start wearing out. Yes, I was aware of that. I just didn't know how this battery was made. So when I took it open, when I took it apart, uh, I learned that there's a BMS built in these batteries. Uh, the BMS stands for Battery Management System. The BMS controls the discharge and the charging of the battery. Um, this BMS built in this battery that came with the bike is rated at 150 amps. 150 amps, uh, the speed controller and in the software, it was set to this current at 150 amps which means that the speed controller would ask the battery for 150 amps when you go full throttle and you would go fast, okay? But when it's new, it works great when the battery is new. But 4,500 miles in, almost a year in of riding it, uh, it started to wear out. The, the, I was getting less range and until it started to fail on me, it would just turn off. So when I took it apart, learned that the BMS is the one in charge uh, of distributing the uh, balance charge and is the one in charge to feed 150 amps to the, the, to the speed controller. Now, the reason why it was shutting down, it was because the cells are wearing out. The cells do not hold the capacity anymore. The cells, uh, they discharge faster. So the BMS, uh, when it would feel like when it, when when the when the speed controller would ask the battery for 150 amps, it will not feed 150 amps. It was not enough from the cells, so the BMS would shut down to protect the cells from overheating or shorting, whatever happens. But the BMS would shut down completely, and the way to turn it back on was to either disconnect the battery or plugging in the charger on the other side. I was able to turn it on with the charger, plugging it in, and then it would, it would turn on the BMS again. Um, so the, the battery being wearing out, they, it, it cannot feed 150 amps anymore. This thing is asking for 150 amps, but this thing is not able to feed 150 amps anymore. So it shuts down, okay? So what you do is, on the speed controller app, uh, go into the settings and change the DC current. Change the DC current uh, to 120 amps. 120 amps. And it's going to be asked, the speed controller is going to ask 120 amps from the battery. And it's going to work fine. So you're going to go slower, a little bit slower. You're going to have a little bit of less torque. But it's still fast. I was able to do 50 miles an hour at a, with 120 amps. So yeah, the battery is the problem. It wears out. <laughs> Keep that in mind. The battery wears out and it's not going to provide 150 amps for a year or two years in a row. It will wear. Just be aware of that. Um, so if you have the same problem, just lower the, the, the amperage, the DC current amp on, on, on the speed controller, and you'll be fine. So, yeah, I'll show you some pictures 
of uh, what a BMS looks like on this battery and the Chinese version that I got ripped off. All right. So let me show you what it looks like. All right, so this is the battery that came with the bike. Okay, and look at that. This is uh, the BMS right here. That's the BMS. These are the cells. All right, so this BMS is rated for 150 amps. Okay, look at the cables here. Look at the, I mean, it's almost the size of the pack. Okay, and look at that. That's 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 the BMS that came with the with the bike. All right, I mean it's a uh, well made, well made, um, good quality BMS, uh, LG LG cells. Okay. So, because I thought it was the battery, I ordered a Chinese battery, and look at this. There is 10 cells here, and there is another 10 cells behind it. Okay, and you can see the BMA, the, the balance charge cables, the discharge cables, right here. Um, see, that's what it, the, the, the the nickel plates were getting burned. Look at that. They were all getting burned. Okay. But this one fell because look at the BMS. Look at the BMS. The BMS is 40 amps. So that's why it fell right away. I didn't even get a mile when, when it shut down on me with this thing. So 40 amp. Okay. This thing was $900 and I got ripped off. And the seller nowhere to be found. But uh, yeah, I suggest you learn to build batteries. Okay, you know what BMS you can use. There's a bunch of smart BMSs that you can use. Uh, the cells are the expensive ones, but I think you will you'll be able to save yourself two hundred, three hundred dollars when you, or probably more when you build your own battery. Okay. So yeah, this is the battery that comes with the bike and you just need to lower down the DC current on the speed controller and this bad boy here is gonna work properly. All right, thank you for watching and thank you for your time and I hope uh, this video helps you out on what to do with the problem that you're having if it's the same problem. All right. So thank you again. Thanks for watching.